What's going on you guys? Andrew Roboto here and welcome back to Five Nights at Ethan's where we'll be taking on night five in this video. So without further ado, we will start night five and see what has to offer us. Alright, so is there a phone guy? Let's see. Let's see if there's a phone guy this tonight or phone call this night, sorry. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so these characters, of course, are more aggressive this night, as you can tell. Alright, and I found out who the, well, I found out who the guy in the orange shirt is. That's Colton. Alright, so these guys are going to be more aggressive this night, as you can tell. Okay, got them. Sorry I'm putting up the camera a lot because I'm checking where they are. And I have to constantly press the audio, that's why I'm constantly checking the cameras. And I'm not talking much right now because I have to concentrate on who's coming. Okay, so I understand the patterns. Um, Alan comes first, then then um, Colton, and then um, who's the other one? Oh yeah, Ethan. And then I think Connor's the one who we have to close the door on. God, I, I keep I keep having to constantly put the camera up so I can check where they are. Cause obviously these guys are more aggressive this night. Oh god, he's good. This night is definitely crazy. Anyone there? Nope. I haven't had to close the door so far this night. Which is actually a good thing because the door wastes battery too. Whoa. Ah! God! Oh my god. Ethan and Colton were standing there. Oh, both standing there. Oh my god. I apologize if I got the guy in the orange shirt's name wrong. I believe that's Colton. I don't know who it is. God, now I have like one bar of battery left. Okay, I'm gonna close the door now because I'm I'm out of battery. So I'm just gonna keep pressing these audio cues like I did the last few nights. Alright, we beat night five. Perfect. That was one hell of a crazy night. I'll tell you that. Whew. And it was extremely stressful on me. Okay, what's next? Paycheck, $12. $12. Nice. Offers overtime job. Memo, thank you. Your guide from the phone. Alright, so we got a paycheck for 12 Oh, wait. I thought it was $12, but it's actually $12,000. Alright, that's... That's pretty, that's, that's a good amount for a paycheck. Alright, the end. Let's see what's next. Ooh, and we, ooh, and we want a ribbon for beating Knight 5. Nice. Alright, so there is a Knight 6 in this game, and we, which we will be taking on Knight 6 as well in this video, since I have plenty of time to do so. 
In fact, this is actually one of the few FNAF games I've played where the knights are fast. This definitely reminds me of um, Five Nights of Mario's 1 and the Five Nights of Baldi's series. Like, the knights go by fast in those games. Alright, let's. we will take on Knight 6 now. Do we get a phone guy or no? Close the door. We'll shut you down. You can get $12,000 after this night. So, okay. I guess we'll see you in the morning. Ah, I gotta close the door. Two's at the door, okay. Alright, so night six is the same as night five. It's just the characters are more active. Close doors, because I see the warning light. Ah! I scare, it's what I do. I scare, it's what I do, okay. I did not see you behind that door. What the heck? Alright, well, let's try night six again. Because, God, I did not see him behind that door. Okay, so, I pretty, I'm pretty much going to have to keep the door closed this whole night in order to beat it, because, well... You never know who's going to be behind that door. So I'm just going to keep it closed the whole night. That's the strategy I'm going to come up with for night six. Hey dude, so this is going to be a final night since we're going to be shutting down. Oh, they're shutting down? Okay. So don't come back after this night because we're shutting down. You can get $12,000 after this night. So, yay. Oh, okay. Um, yay? What did you say yay for? Alright, well I got the door closed. Which I'm going to keep it closed this whole night because these guys are extremely active. And if I even open that door, one of them could be behind and I could get jump scared. Alright, so night six is the same as night five, obviously, except the characters are a lot more active. And I'm keeping the door closed the whole night after because because the carriage moves so fast you never know what could be behind that door and, and I could get jump scared. Because I already got jump scared so far in this video. I didn't get jump scared on night five though, thankfully. Same with the other nights. Until now. I was doing I was doing well I was avoiding not getting jump scared till now. Crazy, right? Alright. Alright, so the phone guy said don't come back after night six. Well, okay then, I won't come back. Unless if there's a custom night or any other bonus nights. But who knows? We'll see. Might as well flip through the cameras since I have nothing better to do. Since I'm keeping the door closed. And press the audio button several times. Every camera you check, like, it shows a poster of the characters. Which is actually interesting. Like, that poster's, like, that's Ethan in that poster. Alright, so I know the four characters' names. You got Ethan, Colton, Connor, and Alan. Which the fourth guy I never see because I have to close the door on that guy. Whereas the others, I have to use the audio alert. And the characters always run when you press the audio alert or if they're nearby. It's interesting how there's only four cameras in this game, whereas the others are not are dead. Like the other cameras are dead except for four. I don't know why. 
every FNAF fan game or Final Surprise game you play, there's always like one or more cameras dead. Or disabled, as they call it. Alright, we beat Night 6. We only got jump scared once in this video, but we beat and we beat Night 6 regardless, thankfully. Alright, what's next? Let's see what's next after this. Oh, another paycheck, nice. And it's twelve thousand dollars. Memo, thank you, your guy from the phone. Alright, so we got another paycheck for working overtime. Nice. Which is actually a good thing, because I mean night guards always get paid in these type of games. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, we have we have earned a orange ribbon for beating night six, and then we have a blue ribbon for being night five. So that's a good thing. Alright. Alright, so we have unlocked the extra, so I might as well go check them out right now. If it'll let me. Okay. We got Ethan, uh Connor, Colton, Valen. Okay, I thought that was Alan, but his name's Valen, okay. Alright, so I was I was wrong. Connor's the one in the orange shirt, Colton's the one with the blue shirt and hat and is the foxy character. So basically Colton's the only one we have to close the door on because he's the foxy type character. And there's actually a 420 mode right there, which I believe that is the custom night, which um we will take on the custom night in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.